Today I would like to go over how to read an x-ray of a fracture. Why is this important? It's important so that you can communicate your findings to another colleague or to an orthopedic surgeon. As with any x-ray, it is important to ensure it is the correct patient and the correct date. It is also important to ensure the x-ray is adequate. You should have a view of the entire bone and you should have at least two views at 90 degrees to each other. Typically, we request an AP and a lateral view uh, for most fractures. The initial description should include clinical information such as whether the fracture is open or closed, the fracture pattern that is transverse, oblique, spiral or comminuted, and the anatomic location, whether it's intraarticular, metaphyseal, diaphyseal, etc. The mnemonic LARA, L -A -R -A, can be used to remember the important features that need to be described. These include length, angulation, rotation, and apposition. Length refers to whether there is any shortening at the fracture site. This often occurs due to the pull of the contracted muscles that are attached to the fracture fragment. Angulation is usually described according to the direction in which the distal fragment is pointing. Angulation can also be described according to the direction of the apex of the angle at the fracture site. Rotation usually requires inclusion of the joint above and below on the x-ray of the fractured bone. For example, if you have an AP view of the knee and a lateral view of the ankle on a fracture of the tibial shaft, there is 90 degrees of rotation present. Assessment of rotation usually requires clinical correlation as well. Apposition refers to how much of the surface area of the fracture site is in alignment. The amount of misalignment at the fracture site is the degree of displacement, which can be expressed as a percentage. For example, if there is 50% apposition on one view and 50% apposition on the orthogonal view of the fracture site, there is only a composite 25% apposition in a three-dimensional sense. When you put all these descriptive features together in a concise statement, you will be able to effectively describe a fracture to another individual. With some practice, it will become second nature. Good luck.